It's the second most photographed thing in Dare County. And the other, only other thing is the lighthouse itself. It's just obscure. Why is it there? What possessed somebody to do what they did? What makes him dress up like an alien, you know? Something different. And who owns a spaceship, you know? Like, who does? My name is Leroy Reynolds. Just an old man. I'm the owner of the Futuro House. I call it the Frisco UFO spaceship. Been being the alien probably since 96. I had a racing suit from when I used to race cars, and I thought, well, that's alien green, you know? All he needs is a mask. I would wait till people were out here taking pictures and slip down out of the door and sit down behind them. You know, just, just for fun, you know? You believe in aliens? Hmm? Everybody always liked the spaceship. It's just different. Did you have any alien friends back on Tron? Of course. Everybody that comes here after they leave, they're smiling. You, they come here crappy and they leave smiling. I love that it's just like, that it's unique. I guess it's like a type of house that's not built anywhere so somebody actually used to live in there. Before it, it was used a to, It was a beach cottage, but not that's in this so location. <laughs> oh, okay. You drove by, but you have seen this before. Where have you seen this before? I saw this, uh, it was either in the late 60s or early 70s in Playboy magazine. Okay. It was sold in Playboy magazine in 1972 had a six page spread. It was the ultimate bachelor's pad. You attach your helicopter to it. My name is James Bagwell, like a bag in a well. I own the property and we brought the Futuro house down here, and, but Leroy runs it now. Now I guess it's ours. And I told him it's gonna be a legacy if it's anything. This was on the oceanfront in Hatteras as an oceanfront cottage, and then it was moved into Hatteras Village as a Girl Scout, Boy Scout uh, location. Then it was taken to Frisco Campground as a hot dog, hamburger, alien out of this world. It's been down here for over 50 years, and a lot of people have a lot of memories about it. There's some kind of alien connection, and it is a hoot. It just pulls people in. Come down, you see it falling apart, and you're like, hey, I can't, I can't deal with it. I'd rather see it gone than falling apart. So you want to spruce it up and make it the legacy? Yep, I want to do something big with it, not something little. We would like to fix it up back to what it was and allow people to go back inside and just look at it. We're dickering with the county over that now. I would like to turn it into a museum of the arts. When, when they stop here, they'll say why, and I'll go, why not? The other question is, do you believe? It had to do with believing yourself, believing you can do this. It'll be a legacy if you're doing something and giving back to the community. That's, that's kind of, you know, the alien thing. Head over to our website. It's where you'll find exclusive online debuts, stories, full episodes, recipes, and behind the scenes glimpses in our extra helping section. Visit unctv.org slash my home right now and let us know what you think.